Oh, I'm going to give everybody a few minutes, now nah, a few seconds to come in here. <laughs> because I knew, I know we were supposed to start at 11 o'clock. I know I was supposed to start at 11 o'clock. But guess what? I know y'all see these bags under my eyes. I was really trying to pull it together for the rundown today. Um, attended the school board meeting last night, and it was a long one. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Tamika Henry. I am an ambassador with Make It Work Nevada. I am so happy that we're getting ready to start this show called The Rundown. Basically trying to get more community members, more families engaged in the educational process here um, in Southern Nevada, um, in Clark County and throughout Nevada. So a little bit about my background. Um, I was a parent in Head Start. My first child was in the program a few years ago. I don't want to date myself. But anyways, I really got involved in education and advocacy by way of Head Start. They engaged me as a parent. Um, I served on the policy committee. I currently serve as the chairperson of the board of directors for Ocelero Head Start here in Clark County. But they taught me how to read budgets, um, the importance of curriculum, and families having decision-making rights in those processes. Um, also, even with menu development and what our kids eat, like we had a voice, we had an intentional voice at the table. And I want that for everyone throughout pre-K through 12, um, 12th grade. It's important that we have our voice, uh, our voices and opinions and thoughts at the table. And sometimes as families, we just don't know how, like, how can we be more involved? How can we be more engaged? Um, because, you know, for me, I simply got tired of hearing, well, families don't want to show up or families don't want to do um, without people looking at the barriers that may exist for families. Don't just assume that we don't want to be a part of. Don't just assume that we don't want to engage. We do. Um, sometimes we just need to know how. And it's just important to stop doing things um, to us or what you feel is best for us it's just important to get our opinions, um, engage us, have town halls, have meetings where you can get um, the thoughts and opinions from families and communities. It's called family and community engagement. We should be doing it anyway, so do it. Um, you know, I really want this to be a show where we can break down things in education in a way that people can understand it. That's the best way of engaging families. That's the best way of engaging the community. This right here is not the best way to engage families and communities. Like we gotta find a way to break it down in a way that people can understand. What is this? This is the agenda from last night's school board meeting with all of the attachments. And it was a still, it was still a box full of these left because people are not, people are not picking up this stuff. They're not, they're not coming. And even just an observation, um, being at the school board meeting, um, which started at five and ended at 11, I'm tired. Um, there were not a lot of people that looked like me. And even on the board, we know, we know there are not um, any African-Americans on the school board. You know, I, I tried it. I ran. I tried. It's all good because I ran on the platform of just building relationships, um, sharing resources, being represent, you know, representation, bringing representation. All of that can still happen without a title. I want to bring this to you all in a way that is digestible. And this morning, I was trying to pull it together, and I could not make any of this make sense <laughs> in an hour. Like, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Not after being there for so long. So, what I do ask is that you bear with us while we try to figure this out. 
because I want it to be something great, something that you can understand, something that you can use, something that you can share with others so we can get more involved in the educational process. We can get more involved in um, making education better for our community and our families, and most importantly, our students. So um, just one takeaway, because Juneteenth is happening next week. And as part of Make It Works economic fairness campaign, the one thing we're focusing on around education is a strong public school system. By any means necessary, we're going to do that. So the one thing that I ask of you is to volunteer for our Juneteenth celebration, which is happening on June 17th. Please DM us or email for more info, um, email info at makeitworknevada.org. That's info at makeitworknevada.org. And just stay tuned. I'm going to see you in two weeks. Um, we will be dropping different links of things that happen that I want you to check out. Like even in this, in the comment section on here, we'll make sure to um, drop some links of some important things that were discussed last night. But in the meantime, I thank y'all for bearing with us while we try to figure this out. But we're going to make it make sense for you. And y'all have a good one. Thank you.